dictionary, you make sure the meaning, huh? you study it, and you duplicate the same information in your own mind, and then you think it through for yourself with all logic and reasoning, and you come to the same conclusion. Oh, yes, Krishna is God. Huh? Yes, I should worship Krishna. I should surrender to Krishna. That conversion is really the, what we're talking about when we say become Krishna conscious. If you become Krishna conscious, or you become a devotee because of your own intelligence, you're not going to give that up. Huh? Because once you reach a conclusion by your own intelligence, nobody can convince you in any other way. Isn't it? If you, if you experience something for yourself, huh, and, and you know it to be true by your own experience, nobody can convince you that it's not true. So that kind of uh, understanding is needed. Huh? So when the people in the general, the people of the world, they get so sick and tired of this materialistic culture that it becomes worthless, useless, then they'll be open to something else. Right now they're not open, they're not listening. You can't preach to someone who's not listening. This is permission-based uh, teaching. You have to have someone's permission to teach them. If you don't have their permission, if they're not paying attention, you're not going to get anywhere. Don't waste your time. So many devotees don't understand this. They think they can go out with a pile of books and make people take them, make them read them. No, you can't. They have to be ready. They have to be thirsty. They have to have a need. And you're fulfilling that need by giving them the book. Huh? Or the, the teaching or the video or whatever. So that's why we don't, uh, we don't go out and post on all different forums and try to get people to come to our site. We wait until they're looking. When they're in the search engine, oh, what's esoteric teaching? Boom, it pops up. <laughs> and they go to our site. Somehow or other, they come to our site. Thousands and thousands of people. Or they see our videos on YouTube and they come. Somehow or other, they have come to us. So, yeah, we can teach them. They're giving us permission. They're coming to our site. What is this esoteric stuff? Uh, we can teach them, we can preach to them, we can help them. We can't help the average man in the street because he's not searching for what we have. We have to wait for that to happen. Meanwhile, we work on ourselves, perfecting our own understanding. Mm. Then we can help others. Okay, next question. From Bruce. It seems transcendental consciousness has some common factors, and yet there are some individual differences about how transcendental objects are, are held by the viewer, which ends in the expression of a particular rasa. This is why souls go to different divine planets to Krishna. Is it an error to take this view? No, that's good. That's it. Okay. Oh, so Carl commented, the sannyasa, sannyas vows are sometimes called cat vows by Dalabrata. By who? In Sanskrit, by Dalabrata. Cat vows. Cat vows. It's interesting. Okay. Uh, the drop. Yes, see. Namaste Narasi.